Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Humble Huzz. Thank you for being here. We are making a mosaic crochet blanket. Now I am not going to go into too much detail about how mosaic crochet works. This is just a follow along tutorial. I know you're going to enjoy it. It's There's not many stitches that you have to learn. It's just single crochet, chains, and double crochets, mosaic double crochets. So I will teach you all of those as we go along. Let's get started. You will need two different yarns, two different colors, if you want to do it just like I did. This blue one is by Red Heart. It's called Hige or Hige. I would have said Hige, but okay. It is 70% acrylic and 30% nylon. It is a bulky five. And the recommended hook size is a 6.5 millimeter. And then the gray is this Bernard Yarn Inspirations. Uh, it's called Strata. It is a medium four weight. The recommended hook size is a five millimeter. This is 100% acrylic. Now, because I have yeah, two different yarns that have different hook sizes, I'm going to pick something sort of in the middle. So this is the hook I'll be using, a six millimeter or a size J. You also need scissors and a yarn needle. You will need several stitch markers or paper clips. So I am going to take, this is going to be my color A, the gray. I am going to make a slip knot by doing a little loop. Then you take your hook, insert through the middle, get a hold of this loose end, Pull it through that loop carefully, hold on to both ends, and pull in opposite directions. Then pull on one end whoops, to adjust it onto your hook. Not too tight, not too loose. I'm sorry about this, I have like paint ink stains on my nails from <laughs> the pattern. To chain, you need to yarn over and pull that yarn through the loop. That's one chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop. That's two. Okay, yarn over, pull through the loop. That's three. We need a total of 143 chains. That is because we need for the actual pattern 138 chains then we need two chains on each side of the pattern the start and at, at the beginning and at the end and then we need one extra chain so we can turn which will not count so that comes to a total of 143. now after all those chains we are going to skip this chain right here, this first one. So we will work our first single crochet into that second chain. This I'm calling row zero. So not row one yet, just row zero. To do a single crochet, you will insert your hook, then you yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through two loops. Then go into that next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. There you have two single crochets. So on our way back, because we had 143 chains, we will now have 142 single crochets. Now we will begin with row number one, and I am going to go slow the first couple of rows, and then the rest I will just either tell you how many to do or um, put up a chart. But you will learn in these first rows the only stitches that you need to make throughout the whole blanket, which are single crochets, chains, and double crochets. So mosaic double crochet. And I will show you how this go. You will, at the end of row zero, you will chain one and turn your work. Okay, so all that was is yarn over and pull through that loop. This is our first stitch. This is our second stitch. 
in every single row the first two stitches that you see and the and the last two stitches of that row those are not counted as the pattern okay so I will always tell you single crochet two and at the beginning and single crochet two at the end and then the actual pattern starts here what would be the third stitch but this will be actually stitch number one let's just get started on row number one and I will show you this is the first stitch right there um, in this row you now have two loops that you've created with the single crochets from the previous row we need to go through both of those loops so insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops that is one single crochet again insert your hook there yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops so these are the two single crochets that i mentioned to you will not be counted in the pattern in every single row you will have two at the front and two at the back that we will i do not count them in the sense of when i start counting my other stitches so you do two and then you begin from one two and three i hope it wasn't too complicated what i mean we need to do 68 single crochets now that means now you start counting one two three four five until you get to 68 single crochets and like i said these two do not count so start there's one and if you want to you know you can always put your a stitch marker here so far we have three and like I said do 68 of these after 68 single crochets you will chain two so one and two and don't do them too tight you want to leave them a little bit loose now skip two stitches you see them right here one and two and then insert into that next stitch and start with your single crochets again and you will have 68 single crochets also plus the two at the end there I have finished 68 and now I have those extra two single crochets at the end of the row now you will chain one and turn your work for row number two so for row number two again you single crochet two then you single crochet 68 stitches then you will get to this part where you chain two you skip these chains obviously and then you continue with 68 single crochets all the way over here and then you have your two single crochets at the end and like I said, if you want to add your stitch markers after those two single crochets or a paper clip, you can do that so that you always know where you have those two at the end and two at the beginning. This is the end of row number two now we get to switch colors so we're going to add color B in my case it's this navy blue so you form a little sort of loop and you put that around your hook you pull it through through that last loop that you made that from that last single crochet now pull tight on that first color so that the new color takes up the position of that old loop now chain one 
and turn your work. So we need to do our two single crochets, one in here and one in here. Now this row number three, it's tricky. Well, all the rows are tricky. So that's why I'm going to go slow. This is stitch number one. Remember, it's where we start counting. So stitch number one and stitch number two, we will do two single crochets. One, and two. I'm going to add my stitch marker right here again. Now stitch number three and stitch number four, we will skip and we will chain two. One, two. Then stitch number five, stitch number six will be two single crochets again. Stitch number seven, stitch number eight, we will skip. You will chain two. Stitch number nine and stitch number 10 will be single crochets. It's just easier to count right here. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's chain two again and skip two. we are going to single crochet into the next six stitches. Let's chain two, skip two, Then single crochet two again. Chain two again. Skip two and single crochet two. Chain two. Skip two. Single crochet two. Chain two, skip two, single crochet two. Chain two, skip two, now single crochet six. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet two. Chain two, skip two, 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 single crochet six. Okay, now we're almost here at the chains. I will show you. You will chain two, skip these two, and now we do those mosaic double crochets. So a double crochet is you yarn over first, very important. 
then remember these two stitches here that we skipped at the bottom so at that that this was row zero so you want to go let's see if i can show you so there is one oh wait no you have to you have to get those two loops Okay, so there's stitch one, and then there's stitch number two. So you need to insert your hook through this first one, right underneath the chains. Okay, so again, yarn over, then you insert through those two loops. Then bring that hook up, so in front of the chains, you will yarn over, pull up a loop, like so, you have three loops on your hook, then yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So basically this double crochet is in front of the chains. It is not holding on to anything except for that stitch at the bottom. Let's do that again. So remember we're going into that next stitch right there underneath the chains. So yarn over, insert your hook through both of those loops right there. Bring the hook in front of the chains, then yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So that is your mosaic double crochet. <laughs> Not that bad, right? Now we continue on to the next stitch up here. So we're going to skip these two. We're going to chain two, just like we did on this side. And then we will single crochet six. Now it is the mirror of the right side. Let's chain two and skip two and single crochet two. Chain two, skip two, single crochet two. Chain two skip two, single crochet two. Chain two, skip two, single crochet two. Chain two, skip two, single crochet six. Chain two, skip two, single crochet two. 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 Chain two, skip two, single crochet six. Chain two, 
skip two, single crochet two, chain two, skip two, single crochet two. chain two, skip two, single crochet two. So we are back here where our crochet where our stitch marker was. And now we finish with our two single crochets as usual. You will chain one and turn your work. Now this is row number four. Remember that the even numbered row is the same as the odd numbered row. So it's really easy to just copy what you have at the bottom. So you do your first two single crochets as usual. Now we have two single crochets right here to start with. One and two. I'm going to add my stitch marker in. And now we have the chains. That means I have to chain two as well. And then I have two single crochets. So I will single crochet into those two. One and two. Now I have two chains again, so I will chain two. And then I have two single crochets. So let's do two single crochets into each of those. So it's fairly easy. Continue to copy what you have on row number three. very easy to just copy it because here you have the six single crochets. I just wanted to mention that when you get to that part where we did those mosaic double crochets and you're like oh wait what do I do now? So you there's two chains in front of it so you chain two and skip those two chains and then you single crochet into that top of that double crochet. Okay, so don't worry about this gray part in the back. And then you chain two and continue. After row number four, I am going to change colors. So I will take color A, the yarn, I will take it up like so, yarn over, pull it through that loop, then tighten that loop. So again, so now this takes the position of that old loop. Now I chain one and I turn my work. This is now row number five. Let's start with our usual single crochets. Now there's two single crochets. Let's continue with two single crochets. Again, I'm going to put my stitch marker here in that first, the one that 
So after those two single crochets. Now we have two chains here. This is where we need to do a mosaic double crochet. Remember how that goes? You yarn over. You have to find that stitch that's the same color. Insert your hook through both loops. Go in front of the chains. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two loops. Yarn over. Pull through two loops. One more time. Yarn over. Go into that next stitch. Right there. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. There you have it. Now let's chain two, skip two, and do two double crochets, mosaic double crochets again. So yarn over, find those two stitches under the chains, insert your hook and do your double crochet. There's one. And here's the second one. See how it's coming together? Again, chain two, skip two, and then two mosaic double crochets. Sorry, yarn over. And another one. Now let's chain two again. Skip two, one and two. Now we're going to single crochet two. One, and two. Now chain two, skip two. Now we're back here at those chains. So we do a mosaic double crochet. Well, actually two of them. Again, chain two, skip two, and then do two mosaic double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and here are those double crochets again. Chain two, skip two, two mosaic double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two mosaic double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and two single crochets. Chain two, skip two, and now we're back to making the mosaic double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and let's do our double crochets. Chain two, 
chain two, skip two, and our mosaic double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and the double crochets. Chain two, skip two, mosaic double crochet. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet two. Chain two, skip two, and we're back to the mosaic double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and our double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and two single crochets. Chain two, skip two, back to our mosaic, double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, mosaic double crochets. Sorry if I'm not saying the number anymore, but I'm pretty sure you figured out it's two of them. Chain two, skip two, and double crochets. Also, if I don't say mosaic, I'm, I'm assuming that you know it's these mosaic double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and single crochet two. Chain two, skip two, and back to your double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and double crochets. Chain two, skip two, double crochets. Yes, this is still row number five. <laughs> Chain two, skip two, double crochets. If it wasn't for the single crochets in between, I would tell you to just repeat the whole row. 
chain two. Skip two and double crochet. Chain two, skip two, and two single crochets. Chain two, skip two, and two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets. Now we single crochet one here, then another one where our stitch marker is, one and two, and then our usual two at the end. Chain one and turn your work. I just wanted to show you this is what it looks like. So now row six, single crochet two. Let's take off our stitch marker again. Let's start two single crochets. So this is where we have those double crochets, which is what I was telling you that above these, you simply do single crochets over them. So you're, you're guiding yourself from the previous row as to what stitch comes next. Here are two chains, so I'm going to chain two, skip those chains, and then over here I have the, the mosaic double crochet, so I will single crochet into them. One and two. Again, there's a chain, so I chain two, and I single crochet into those mosaic double crochets. That That is what you will follow. Um, I just wanted to show you though here, so we're going to chain two, skip these two and these are only single crochets and I'm going to keep single crochets in there as well. Let's switch colors, pull up yarn B, yarn over, pull through that loop, pull on the old color, and chain one. Let's turn our work. Single crochet the two at the beginning. Now we will single crochet four. So take out your stitch marker.
we've come to the part where we will double crochet two mosaic double crochets so yarn over find that first stitch the blue one and do your double crochet so I know it seemed like this was gonna stay loose but you are actually joining it now on this row and then another one another double mosaic double crochet Wait, something happened here with my yarn there okay Now we chain two and we skip these two. Then again, mosaic double crochet. Another one. Chain two, skip these two and two mosaic double crochets now single crochet two then continue with two mosaic double crochets sound from the stitch markers it's a little annoying chain two skip these two and mosaic double crochets chain two skip these two mosaic double crochets chain two skip these two mosaic double crochets chain two skip two mosaic double crochets chain two skip these two mosaic double crochets at single crochet two and mosaic double crochet two chain two skip two mosaic double crochet chain two skip two mosaic double crochet chain two skip two Mosaic double crochet. Sound like a broken record, right? <laughs> Chain two, skip two, mosaic double crochet. But at least this will give you a really good idea on how to continue the rows chain two skip two mosaic double crochet so this you got to pull it apart a little bit to really see where that stitch is right, now we single crochet two and the double crochets 
chain two, skip two, double crochets. Chain two, skip two, double crochets. Single crochet two, <clears throat> single crochet two, and two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets. Chain two. Skip two, two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets. Chain two, Skip two, two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets. Single crochet two, Two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Chain two. Skip two and two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Chain two, skip two. Two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Single crochet two. And two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. A single crochet four and then your two single crochets at the end. Chain one and turn. Actually let me just show you quickly what it's looking like, what it looks like. Row number eight. Let's single crochet our two at the front. Now we take off the stitch marker and we follow the pattern from the bottom. So 
single crochet. single crochet. So there's four single crochets here. And now we have these mosaic double crochets. So that's also single crochet. Now we have the chain. So we chain two. Skip this. Then we have the mosaic. So that means single crochets, two of those, chain two, mosaic, so single crochet. Then we have single crochets right here. So we have two single crochets and then the two double mosaics. So that means four single crochets here in total. Well, actually I should say six because you had the two mosaics here and then two single crochets and then two mosaics there. All right, I hope that you get the idea of how to continue this row. You follow what the bottom, what row number seven was doing. This will be row number nine, and I am pretty sure by now you're starting to get the hang of it. Single crochet two at the beginning. There's our stitch marker. Now we are going to single crochet six. And six. Okay, now we have two chains right here. So that means we have to do two mosaic double crochets. It gets easier to kind of read what your next step is going to be as you have more rows. Now we chain two. And again, two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, one and two, you skip those, and then you single crochet four. Now come two double crochets again. Chain two. double crochet two. Chain two, double crochet two. Chain two, double crochet two. Chain two, 
double crochet two. Chain two, skip two, then two single crochets. Chain two again, skip two, and then double crochets. So this is still row number nine. Chain two, skip two, now two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, two double crochets. Chain two. Skip two and then two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, so one, two, and then two single crochets. Chain two. Skip two, skip these two, and two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Chain two, skip two, and then two single crochets. Chain two, skip two, and then two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. <laughs> you probably like are already falling asleep with me repeating all of this. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Chain two, skip two, then two single crochets. Chain two, skip two, and then our two doubles. Chain two, skip two, 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 two doubles. Now four single crochets. Chain two, skip two, 
two doubles. Chain two, skip two, two doubles. Now six single crochets. Take out your stitch marker, put it back here, and then our two single crochets at the end. Chain one and turn, turn your work. For row 10, Go back, two single crochets at the beginning, and then we start our stitches again. So just follow as mentioned before, wherever there was a single crochet, you do a single crochet. Wherever there were chains, you do chains. And wherever there was a double crochet, you also single crochet into that. Okay, so there's my six single crochets. Now I have a double, so two doubles, so I single crochet into those as well. And now come my chains. And then I have two doubles again, so I do single crochets. All the way to the end. So I hope these 10 rows give you a good idea of how to follow the pattern. So I'm not going to I'm not going to film exactly how I am crocheting all the rows because I would take years to finish. At least it would be a very very long video as I mentioned. But I think you get the idea, so I am just going to write it out so you can then pause it and look at it while you're crocheting. So I will start doing that when I get to row number 11. This is what it looks like after row number 10. Row number 11, single crochet two, and single crochet eight, two doubles, Chain two, skip two, two doubles, After row 11, this is what it looks like. You chain one and turn your work. For row number 12, you already know how it works. You work based on what you had in row number 11. Don't forget your two single crochets at the front. This is what it looks like after row number 12. On to row number 13. So you switch colors or yarn and now you do your first two single crochets. And by the way, this about putting the two single crochets in front of the pattern and at the end of the pattern. Um, I got that tip from a blog 
It's called Martin up north. He does mosaic crochet and it's amazing. Uh, so that's a great place to check out too. Um, but yeah, that's where there was a short introduction into mosaic crochet and he was saying that it's it helps when you're turning your work so it really is good when you're kind of ending on chains at least you have those two extra single crochets to work with all right so um, row 13 like I said um, again I'm just going to post the pattern and then you can follow along. I am sure by now you know exactly what to do when I write it out. I know that you got this. Row number 14. This will now be row number 15. And yes, now I have my pattern here. So you do your two single crochets at the beginning, and then you start with 12 single crochets. This is row 15. Let's start with row number 17. So your two single crochets. And then here's the pattern. Row number 19, I've done my two single crochets and now I will continue with my doubles. And of course here is the pattern for rows number 19 and then you know what to do for row number 20. number 21. I hope you guys are not finding this hard. So this is what it looks like. Well, and I also hope that the photos help so that you know what it should be, what it should look like as you go along. For, here's the pattern for this row, number 21. Let's start row 29. Okay. 
Row 31. Well, it's coming along. Is yours looking like this? I sure hope so. Let's continue with row number 33. On to row number 35. So we're getting somewhere. Let's move on to row number 37. I'm pretty sure you are an expert at this already in switching the colors and doing your two single crochets at the beginning and at the end. So now here's the pattern for this row. Here's row number 39. Now, at some point you're going to have to add new yarn. And I want to show you how I do it. So this is about to run out, then I grab my new one, well, I, I keep it right here. Then I'm going to start the next stitch, so this is going to be a single crochet. I insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, now I take the new yarn, form a little loop, and pull through those two. So now I have the new yarn, the old one. You have to kind of pull on some of these and then continue with your next stitch and that new ball or skein of yarn. These, you can work them into the pattern if you wanted to. That way you don't have to thread them in later. Just run them along so you hold them next to the, to the row then you insert your hook, leave them right there, then yarn over with the yarn, and you see how it got worked into the stitch. Let's start now with row number 40, 41. Let's move on to row 43. Row number 45. Can you believe how far you've gotten? Look how pretty it looks. Row 47. Yay! Look at this. I hope you guys are hanging in there. Doesn't it look nice? Row 
we are now going to start with row 49 so it should look like this And here we are, row number 51. I'm sorry about the lighting. It's just that I'm not doing this in my usual place where I film because it's such a big pattern. Here's, here are the instructions for this row. Row number 53. This is row 55. Pretty soon I'm not going to have space to show you the blanket. I'm going to have to hold the phone in my hand so that you can see what it should look like. Fifty-seven. Let's continue now with row number fifty-nine. Row 63. Now we're going to start with 65.
Let's start now with row 77. It's just too bad that I don't have a tripod that's tall enough to capture this. Let's start row 79. We're going to start row 81. Yeah, we're almost halfway there. Row 85 is our next one. Let's move on to row 89. Can you believe it? It's looking good. I hope you're hanging in there. Now we are starting row 91. Oh my goodness, we are almost at the middle. Let's move on to row number 95. I mean, what we are creating here is really a piece of art. So you should be very proud of yourselves. So I just, I'm personalizing it, which is why I'm calling it the Okawa blanket. But you're only going to have straight lines. So yours is just going to be um, rows of colors changing. So simply follow the pattern, but don't be surprised when you see that I have some sort of writing on it. We will, we will now start row 97. Can you believe that? Just remember that yours is not going to look like this. Yours is just going to have the straight lines.
we are now going to start row 115. I can't believe it. So this is what it looks like. There is that part of the writing that you don't have. So, so you don't have this, but you have those lines. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now we're going to go back. So on this, on the top, now we're going to do this part. And then just kind of backwards what we've done so far. And then we'll be almost done. We will st now start row 119. Now, the next several rows are going to be single crochet only, just like you did here. One, two, and three. And then we go over here, and then we're going to have these color changes. We're going to have those three rows also on this side, uh, which are actually six rows. So. All right, guys, we are on row, I am, well, I am on row 130, and now about to start row 131, which will be starting this pattern, once again, just on the opposite end. Let's start now with row 133. Now for all the rows that follow from here until the end of the blanket, I will not show any images, only the pattern. You should be able to do it.
Okay, we are done with the body of the blanket and now all we need to do is add the border. Now we already sort of have a border at the top and at the bottom. That's okay, we're still going to add to it and it's going to go all around the blanket. So this color B that we had, we can cut it off. You can leave, you can leave just like a little thread that we can then incorporate or thread into the side of the blanket and then we will continue to do to work <laughs> my finger. then see I have to go all around to the other side I have to go to the other side so then we will continue oh, this was row 199 where you finished now we're gonna start going around with double crochets so I've gone ahead and cut off this yarn on the other side. Like I said, we'll work it in. And now we will continue over here on this corner. And I'm so sorry, once again, for all the different backgrounds and lightings. And I just have to adapt myself with this big project. So you finished your last single crochet. Now let's chain three like that. Okay, now we want to go, so this was that first row basically, or last row. We want to go into this same space. Why? Because this is a corner and we want to work two stitches into that same one to round that corner. So you yarn over, insert your hook, like I said, into that space I hope you can see it there from your last stitch then yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops this will be your next stitch so we are doing now the side of the blanket and remember how you have rows so you have two rows for every color and the way you will work that is into every row okay so now we're working into this row that way you will have the same amount of stitches on both sides just by following this pattern so in the gray you will have two double crochets and then in the blue and then it, and then in the blue you will have two double crochets and then in the gray again two double crochets then in the blue two double crochets and so on now if you haven't have to have one more or less then on the other side that is okay and then when you get to the bottom of the blanket on the corner stitch remember you're going to do two double crochets once again to round it and then you continue doing double crochets into each stitch all the way until you come back around to this corner where you started now I have gone around once with double crochets all around the blanket and now I am back here. Remember where we had that chain of three that we started with? So this is it. So when you're done with your last stitch, right before you get to that chain, that chain of three, you then want to insert your hook into the top of that chain three space. So right there. And have to wiggle your way through okay there and do a slip stitch so simply yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop that is on your hook so that is how we're closing off the blanket now we will cut this off then yarn over and pull that yarn all the way through tighten it now all we need is our yarn needle so we can thread this in.
we are finished. How amazing is this? This is such a pretty blanket. I hope it wasn't too hard. I know you I know you did an amazing job. You should be very proud of yourself. It's going to look beautiful any place in your bedroom, in the living room, anywhere. Or if you're going to give it away as a gift. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you next time. Please follow me on Instagram at HumbleHas. Tag me with your work. I would love to see what you come up with, the colors you use, the yarns you use. And I will see you soon. This is my channel, HumbleHas. Bye.